Hello everyone, I am um, really excited to have uh, with me Mr. R. Gopal Krishnan, um, the CEO of uh, Mindworks and uh, ex-director of Tata Sons. Uh, great to have you here sir. And uh, today's uh, interview will be on uh, digital and digital disruption. So it's a lot of emphasis on learning agility in the digital age and how things are rapidly changing and we are all uh, trying to cope up in one way or the other. So how do you keep yourself up to date? You know. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have a clever answer for it. My dumb answer is, just say I don't know. There are lots of guys who are willing to explain it to you. Right. And unfortunately, it requires six guys before you say, I think I understand that. Yeah. Uh, what's the worst that will happen? Five other guys have thought you're a dumbo. Right. But I'm now convinced that they're also dumbos. We're all dumbos looking for right. <laughs> the answer. Yeah. So, when you're in a world of dumbos, who are all seeking that answer. It is like, you know, I don't believe that one particular holy man with a long beard is the quintessence of knowledge yeah. in spiritual matters. Yeah. They are all dumbos looking for that elusive answer. Right. And once in a while you come across somebody who is able to explain it in a way that you like. Yeah. I don't make him a hero. Yeah. I say, this particular point you are able to explain to me, thank you very much. Yeah. I don't put him on a pedestal, but unfortunately many other people do. Right. And I am very... Um, uh, similar in my approach to technology. Technology to me is like spirituality. It's not easy to keep track, it's not easy to understand. Uh, it is something that's a lifelong quest. But once you accept that this is a lifelong quest uh, and you have different people giving you different little tips, yeah. then you're alright. It's like my health. I go to the hospital once in two years or once in a year and somebody tells me your heart is alright, somebody tells me your lung is alright, but Somebody's got to tell me the whole thing. Whole thing yes. right. <laughs> and there's some GP who will come along and yeah. say, you know, the lung specialist says this. Yeah. I'm not sure what exactly it means, but I think you should be careful not to do that. Right. And ultimately, you come back and say, I listen to all these guys. Yeah. I'm going to do what's right for my body because I have the guy. I understand the best. Yeah. And that's what I do. Right. That's exactly what I do. Okay. Wonderful. Um, what are your predictions for 2030? I think you answered this question uh, earlier. But if there's one thing that you think will remain constant? I mean, no, I, 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 I'm, I don't know what will remain constant, but I think the underpinning of values, relationships, human interaction is the one thing that I am betting on. And therefore, digitize what you want, uh, bring as much efficiency as you want. The world is torn between efficiency and effectiveness. Yeah. And right from the time of uh, industrial revolution, there's been a tendency to become more efficient. Yeah. Uh, how many horsepower, how many liters per kilometer, how many sound bites can you put into a certain amount of bandwidth, etc. etc. But it has never lost track of effectiveness. Yeah. And so when the first uh, jollopy car came out after the horse was uh, fired from his job, uh, there were huge car accidents yeah. and then other things happened. So the effectiveness of any technology becomes a strong guiding force after the initial um, excitement about the possibilities have taken over. We are at the early stages of this whole history. The one thing I think will remain constant is uh, putting, uh, I don't want to use the word limits because that's uh, not the word I want to use. But uh, putting uh, enough content into, putting enough uh, packaging or insulation around uh, digital uh, to put the, keep the human reaction, human relationship right. Sure. Alright, so thank you so much for all your insights. It was wonderful talking to you. I don't know if anybody else has anything different because there's no yeah. other way I can see it. But I'm keeping my mind open. <laughs> right, so this has been one of the most fascinating interviews I have done so far. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.
Thank you.